Measurement number one, melting ice. What do you observe about the ice and the beaker? Let's get the mass before. Eighty-six point six. We'll come back to this one later. Notice how some of the ice has melted and turned into water. We'll wait a little bit longer before we do our after measurement. Back to measurement one, you can see that the ice is partially melted. There's some ice and there's some water. This has been going on for about half an hour. I think it's time that we get the, the after mass. eighty six point six grams measurement number two burning alcohol this is ninety one percent isopropyl or rubbing alcohol What do you observe about this liquid beforehand? Let's measure the mass of the watch glass and the alcohol. 14.5 grams. Now let's ignite the alcohol. What do you observe about the alcohol now that it's burning? Let's get the mass after. Thirteen point one grams. What do you observe about the watch glass after? Measurement three, ripping paper. What do you observe about this crumpled up ball of paper? Let's measure the mass before. 4.7 grams. I'm going to uncrumple this and rip it into four pieces. Then to get them all back on the scale, I'm going to have to fold them up. Four point eight grams is the mass after. Note any observations about the paper after it's been ripped and folded. Measurement number four, mixing sugar and water. I have a beaker of sugar. Make any observations about the sugar. A beaker of water. 
What observations can you make about the water? And a glass stirring rod, which I'll use to mix them together. Let's get the mass before. I'm going to put both beakers and the stirring rod on the scale. One hundred twelve point nine grams. Now I'm going to pour the water into the sugar. Observe what happens. Continue to observe as I stir this mixture of sugar and water. Looks like they're pretty well mixed. There's only just a little bit of sugar left at the bottom of the beaker. Most of it appears to have disappeared. Let's get the mass after. 112.9 grams. Measurement number five, two mixtures in one. In this flask, I have a calcium chloride solution. What observations can you make about this liquid? In the second flask, I have a sodium carbonate solution. I'm wearing gloves because it is a mild skin irritant. What observations can you make about this liquid? Let's measure the mass before for these two beakers plus a stirring rod. 114.5 grams. I'm going to pour the contents of one of these beakers into the other. Make observations as they mix. Let's measure the mass after. One hundred fourteen point five grams. Measurement number six, baking soda and vinegar. I have the white baking soda powder in this beaker. And this liquid is vinegar in a test tube. What observations can you make about both of these substances? Let's get the mass before. 142.7 grams. I'm going to pour this test tube of vinegar into the baking soda. Let's observe what happens as they mix. There's still a little bubbling going on, but it's not bubbling nearly as much as before. Let's get the mass after. 142.1 grams. 